my name is Amanda Richardson, author of Save From Silence, and this book is my journey back from a childhood of abuse and how I recovered and became whole again. Um, the main audience of Save From Silence would be not only abuse survivors and that they can find hope and inspiration, um, but also those friends and loved ones of abuse survivors who may need to have more insight and to know what to do and say and what not to do and say. There were times that I had to write a little and then put it down and come back to it. Uh, it was difficult to write, but very cathartic in the fact that, you know, here I am sharing my story of abuse that's very personal, very intimate. Um, but in the end, I knew that what I was doing could help other people. Before I wrote Save From Silence, I did an incredible amount of research on child abuse and statistics to not only be able to educate myself, but so that I would be able to provide those resources for other people. In my own healing, I found there were several steps that I took to make myself the person I'd always meant to be. But ultimately, it was facing what I call my spiritual abuse and healing my relationship with God that finished the process. So it was God who was able to save me from my silence above all else. What I hope for Save From Silence is that it will open a dialogue amongst its readers, that survivors will no longer live in those shadows, and that others will have a deeper understanding of the impact of child abuse and its long-term effects. A widely used Christian phrase, the precise source of which is unknown, states that you can't have a testimony without a test. This is my testimony.